Hey YouTubers, guess what? I'm Angel and you're watching my very first vlog. I am in love with YouTube. I subscribe to like 11 different channels. Um, I watch them, at least two or three of them every night. Just depends how, how often they get their vlogs up. Um, <clears throat> one of my favorites is the Shaytards because they vlog all the time so I at least have a new vlog to watch um, on a daily basis so shout out to the Shaytards. Um, but um, like I said my name is Angel and I um, have been watching YouTube for quite a while but I am new. This is my very first video, my very first vlog so um, I hope you guys like it. My lighting might be off. My um, my everything might be off. I don't know. Anyway, um, I've kind of been researching for a while and kind of like um, contemplating like what is my content going to be. Um, I'm not a beauty guru, um, even though you can tell I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I'm wearing much more makeup for this vlog than I do on a daily basis. Um, Although I do generally wear red lipstick. That is like a daily thing for me. Um, for people that know me, they, they know that I always really have red lipstick on. Red lipstick, mascara, and blush. Um, uh, a lot of blush. My husband would probably say too much blush, but um, I do my own makeup. He doesn't do it, <laughs> even though I love him. Sorry, honey. Um, yeah, he, he thinks I wear probably too much blush, but anyway. Um, so my vlog, I wanted to really kind of focus on things that, that I like. Um, I love fashion. Um, I am not sure if you'll like my sense of fashion, if, if you will like it or hate it, I don't know, but it is what it is. So, um, so I'm not going to do like a daily outfit or, um, you know, focus on that all the time. I may show you an outfit from time to time, or if I buy something new that I really like, um, I'll show you that and I'll let you know where I got it. I do thrift store shopping from time to time and I find some really great things. Um, I live in the Seattle area right now um, where we just have a plethora of really awesome places to shop. Um, although I'm moving in two weeks and um, so I'm kind of sad about that, boohoo, but I need some more sunshine and um, luckily my husband um, works from his computer so we can live anywhere and we are moving to Utah. Um, there's more sunshine there and we have lots of family there so um, so the rest of my vlogs will probably be from Utah since um, I need to be not vlogging, I need to be packing. Um, but anyway I wanted to um, just do my first video and get it up on my channel and see how it goes. Um, so uh, anyway back to what my content will be. Um, need to focus. Um, fashion will be one. Um, products that I love and products that I don't love will be another. Um, and not just makeup products, but, um, but any products that I buy, um, whether it be food products or um, products for my home, um, products for my car. Um, anything that I buy that I love or things that I buy that I think, oh my gosh, I just wasted my money on that, um, I'm going to let you know about um, because I think that, um, I think, uh, you know, if somebody bought something and they really hated it and they were a friend of mine, I would want to know about it so that I don't go out and waste my money on that. Um, so I'm going to talk about stuff like that. The other thing that I really want to talk about on my vlog is music. I love music. Um, I always have um, growing up. My parents were divorced, but no matter if I was at my dad's or at my mom's, um, usually the TV was not on, but the radio was. And um, my mom um, is, was really big into things like Fleetwood Mac and Creedence Clearwater Revival and BTO. And so I really got like um, a rock influence from my mom. And my dad was um, a huge Elvis fan, still is. Um, he also like Billy Joel and um, you know, just, uh, you know, I got, I got a, a different influence, like big bands and things like that came from my dad. Um, I personally, I love all kinds of music except for two. Um, the two that I don't really appreciate, and I'm sorry if you do, but I don't, number one is country, okay? I was raised in Oklahoma. I was forced to listen to a lot of country. Um, 
and I just don't like it. I'm sorry. Um, I know a lot of people love people like Taylor Swift, and I think she's a cute girl. That's great, but I just don't get into country. Um, the other uh, genre of music that I am not really um, appreciative of is rap. Um, I don't really like it. The, the only two exceptions to that, um, to the rap category, would be Run DMC. Um, I'm a product of the 80s, so um, shout out to Run DMC. Um, and the Beastie Boys. I love the Beastie Boys. Rest in peace, Adam Yock. Um, uh, the Beastie Boys, um, they were putting out great music their, their entire career, so um, love them. But with, with those two exceptions, um, uh, those are the only two that I can really think of that of rap that I like. Um, even though I think Blink-182 has a little bit of a rap influence maybe thrown in there or Sublime or something like that, but I do like those groups. But in general, um, I'm not a big rap girl. So anyway, okay, moving on from that. Um, so those are kind of the things that I wanted to focus on in my videos. Um, uh, today, I do have some things that I wanted to um, go over things that I'm liking right now. Um, right now I'm kind of obsessing over earrings and particularly ear cuffs, okay? So the first one that I wanted to show you guys is um, one that I picked up at this little market that we have um, in a town called Auburn, which is just north of where I live. Um, and it's actually just one piece. Um, I wore it today. I got a compliment from the bank teller who was actually a guy. Um, I going through the drive through and he was like, I really like your earring. He's like, and I never tell anybody. He's like, I never notice earrings. But um, I, I was like, I was like, oh, thank you. I said, actually, it's just one. He thought it was uh, several earrings, but I'll show you why he thought that. Um, this particular earring, um, I'm going to get a little bit close and you're going to notice probably that I have freckles. Um, I tried to cover them up with makeup, but um, you're just gonna know that I have them, so anyway, you'll see my freckles. Anyway, so it, it goes in to your, your piercing right here, and then on the back of this part is a little clasp um, that would be like if your ears weren't pierced, um, you know how they have the, the earrings for people that don't have pierced ears, there's a little clasp here. And so you just kind of attach that to the back of your ear up here, and in the earring is just kind of worn like that. Um, I got mine, at, like I said, at a local market um, in Auburn, Washington, but if you don't live in, in or around Washington, um, particularly in the Auburn area, I have seen these on Etsy. Um, my lighting is is probably not the best, um, so you might not be able to tell the color, but this one is actually aquamarine in color. Um, they're a little crystal-like um, stones. Aquamarine is my birthstone. That's not why I bought it. I just thought it was a really pretty color. Um, and so that is the first um, earring that I wanted to show you. Um, that's kind of trending right now, I guess. Um, some of you may already own one and may be loving it, um, but that's kind of one of my latest purchases. Um, the next one that I wanted to show you was um, a, a traditional ear cuff. Um, it has a little white, I'll see if I can show you, um, if it zooms in here. It's a little white rosette, if you can see that. Um, and that just attaches to the ear here. If I can get it in. And then there's a chain. And then the ear cuff itself just attaches right up here if I can get it on. It's hard to do um, when I'm not like looking in a mirror. So that attaches there and it hangs down. This one I got at Claire's. I'm not a big Claire's shopper, but I was searching everywhere. I saw actually Candy Johnson. She's one of my favorite YouTube channels. Um, I love her videos um, and uh, I just love watching her. I love her energy. Um, she's just amazing. So Candy, love you, love your channel. Anyway, she um, introduced me to an ear cuff like this. She was wearing one in her video and I was just like, I've gotta go out and get one of those. So I searched and searched and couldn't find one. I went to Target, I went everywhere. And then I was like, mm, I'm gonna stop at Claire's. And I went in and they had quite a few to choose from. And this is the one that I chose. And when I first put it on, I was like, mm, I don't know if that's me. But um, I wore it one day and the more I, you know, 
you know, kind of in passing, saw it in the mirror and saw it on, the more and more I fell in love with it. And now I, I love it. Um, and so uh, that is the other ear cuff. And these you can get on Etsy as well, or you can go to Claire's. I think every mall has a Claire's. Um, so that's the other one. And then the next earring um, or earring set that I bought, this, this one actually came in a set. It's not an ear cuff. It's more like, I think they're called sliders. I could be wrong, um, the name of them. But um, I'm going to kind of hold it up and see if you can see what it looks like. There's the earring part here and then there's a long there's a long like stem right here and that's what you actually feed into your ear and these are my absolute favorites. I've been wearing these like every day. I'm obsessed with these. You just slide it through until the chain comes all the way up to the ear and it hangs and it's just super delicate um, and you can see the the long piece back here Anyway, I just have one in, but I do I do have two, and I wear them as a pair, um, and I I love them, absolutely love them, um, and so that those are the earrings that I'm loving right now. I'm not going to put the other one on, but you can kind of see that, um, and so I'll just take that out. Um, so those are the earrings that I'm obsessing about right now. Um, the other piece of jewelry that I bring out every summer, I've had it for probably about. I don't know, eight to ten years, and I bought it actually at Pike's Market. Um, if you've ever been to Seattle or ever heard anything about Seattle, you'll know about Pike's Market. Um, it's famous in Seattle. You go there, you dodge flying fish. Um, anyway, um, anyway, they they have like a little a little leather. They have merchants all over the place, and there's one particular leather merchant there that sells these little leather cuffs. And uh, my son and I actually got got each got one. Um, and I wear I bring mine out in the summertime because I just feel like it's a summertime thing. And mine's really wide. It might seem kind of manly. Um, that's not what I'm going for. But um, I just love it. It's it's a brown leather. You might not be able to see very well. There's a brass ring here. And then it has two pieces of turquoise. There's one here and one here. And I like to bring it out for the summertime. I just think it feels, I don't know. I don't go to a lot of music festivals. I'd love to go to Coachella, but um, I don't have a million dollars. And tickets for, Coach for Coachella are like a million dollars. So anyway, but it makes me feel like I'm going to a rock festival or something. And, and I would love to do that. So um, I actually did go to a rock festival once. Um, my husband and I were first married we went to a Lollapalooza and um, the cool thing about that is one of my favorite bands was playing um, <laughs> even though we we left we had to go out to the car and when we came back they wouldn't let us in even though we had wristbands and so um, the band that was playing was Alice in Chains and I had waited to see them forever and did not get to see them actually perform on stage because we were not let back in, but we sat in the parking lot and listened to them, and they were amazing. We did, however, get to see Primus perform on stage. Anyway, that was a cool festival. Um, so that was a little sidebar. Anyway, uh, moving on, products that I'm loving right now. This is going to take some people back. Um, if you're young, you're not going to know about this company. That was my phone. Sorry. Excuse that. Um, anyway... If you're young, you're not going to know about this company, but if some of you are my age, you will know and recognize this company. Um, I was in a um, Burlington Coat Factory, which I don't shop very often, but I was visiting my mom in Utah. She had a coupon, hence we were at Burlington Coat Factory. And I ran across this. This is United Colors of Benetton, and this is their perfume for women, Colors. There's my phone again. I'm going to have to edit this out. United Colors of Benetton. <laughs> um, this is a fragrance my best friend and I loved. Back in the day, I think it cost us $40 or $50 for the bottle. Um, we bought it. We shared. Um, I saw this. I, it took me back to the day. It was $9.99 for the bottle. I bought it not even remembering what the fragrance smelled like but um, it was under the four ounce 
limit so I knew I could get it on my carry-on so I bought it brought it home and it smells amazing it's like if you like cinnamon spicy fragrances you're gonna love this um, and I only I'm not a huge perfume person so one squirt is all I put on that lasts me for the day I don't want to overwhelm people with my fragrance but anyway um, United Colors of Benetton love it um, like I said I'm a product of the 80s so I, I had to I had to plug that. If you want it, go to uh, Burlington Co. Factory. You can find it there. Um, okay, next product that I'm going to review. Um, if you've ever used the Wynn hair care products, um, they are amazing. I have curly hair. It's unruly. Um, <laughs> it has controlled my life since I knew how to do hair. Um, and anyone who has curly hair can relate to that. Um, I used the WEN products for a while, loved them, um, but they are very, very pricey. And so um, I just couldn't really, um, I couldn't really continue to spend that much money on, on a shampoo. Um, so I stopped using them and, and was using John Frieda um, for a while, which is a great product. I loved that. Um, but I came across this at Target, which I love Target. Thank you, Target, for being around. You're one of my favorite stores. Um, this is Herbal Essence. It's a cleansing conditioner. Works the same way as the Wen products. Smells great. And I think I got this for under $5. Um, now, I do not like to use a lot of heat on my hair, which means I, I rarely blow dry my hair. Usually I shampoo every third day. I'm sorry if that grosses some people out, but um, I, I really try to do as little as possible to my hair. So I shampoo every third day and I sleep on my hair wet. So it kind of helps to push the curls down. And then I know my hair looks straight in this, but, um, but I, it takes a lot to get it to look straight. So I sleep on it, which helps to straighten it a little bit. And then in the morning, I just kind of run a straightener, you know, run my flat iron through just the front part. And then I put the rest of it up so that I don't have to deal with it. But this product is great. Makes my hair super soft and shiny. Works just as good as when. Go to Target. You'll find it. For less than $5, I got it's like 16.9 full ounces and because I only wash my hair every third day I think this has lasted me almost a month so um, yay for herbal essence okay last product that I'm gonna review is Burt Bees this is natural acne solutions um, I only got this because they were out of their their other citrus um, scrub that I actually started using because I saw it on a Candy Johnson video and I fell in love with it. Um, but they were out when I was at Target. They were actually out at two Targets. So I hope that's not an indication that it's going away. Anyway, so I bought this, uh, this other one instead. It's a pore refining scrub. It's not my favorite. The little scrubbers that are in it, I don't really feel like they do a good job as far as scrubbing. I feel like all they do is work their way into my hairline and then I have to work, you know, try and rinse them out to get them out of my hairline. Another thing is this doesn't really remove all of my makeup. I have to go back afterwards with my Cetaphil and, and you know, try and get the rest of the makeup off. And I, I'm wearing a lot of makeup for the video and I probably will do that continuing in the future because it is a video and I want to, you know, try and put my best foot forward. Um, but on a regular day, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. Um, you know, I wear just basically like a BB cream. I don't even wear a powder. I just wear blush, mascara, and my lipstick. Um, and then, um, you know, I fill in my eyebrows. But, um, but on a regular basis, I don't really wear a lot of makeup. So for this not to be removing the majority of my makeup is not a favorite of mine. And um, the other thing is it's an acne solution. And since I've used it, I've actually had three breakouts. So um, not really not really a favorite, not really liking this little product. But I will continue to use it because I'm not a wasteful person. So I'll use it all up anyway. Um, last thing that I'm gonna talk about is music. This is a band, um, I'll see if I can get it on without a glare. 
Um, one of my favorite bands ever. I had to plug this because if you don't know about Hard Fi, you got to look them up on YouTube. Look them up, plug in Hard Fi, listen to some of their music. They are a fabulous British pop rock band. Um, this is one of their best of CDs or is their best of C CD. It covers their music from 2004 to 2014. There is not a song on this CD that isn't fabulous. In fact, there are songs that they have left out on this CD that I wish they had put on, but they probably just simply ran out of room. I don't know. But anyway, check out Hard Fi. This is an awesome, uh, awesome band. And I tried to little, I was gonna see if I could give you a little snippet of what they sound like. Let me see if I can do that. Okay, I don't know if you could hear that very well. I don't know how it's gonna sound. I don't know how it's gonna come out on the on video. But um, you should go to YouTube, type in Hard Fi, and it'll bring up Cash Machine is a great song, um, uh, Tied Up Too Tight, great song, Suburban Nights, Hard to Beat, um, Stars of CCTV, um, Tonight, um, Bring It On, I mean, they have, Every song they've done that I've heard, I, I love. So, had to plug Hard Five. Um, anyway, that about wraps it up. Um, I was going to cover a bad nail job that I got, but um, I don't want this to be too long. I don't know how long it's going to be right now as I speak. So, um, anyway, hopefully you like this video. Um, I know everybody says that, right? Hopefully you like this video, but really, hopefully you did. Um, hopefully I um, can continue to bring good videos. Um, I hope this one turns out. Um, I hope I figure out my lighting, and I hope I figure out my editing, and I hope I figure out how to put links down below, like everybody says, so that you guys can find whatever you need to find that you see that you like that I present. So anyway, um, that's all I got. So uh, for now, I will see you guys later.